Hello, in this Visual Basic tutorial, I am going to show you functions. If you haven't done the sub video, so the video covering subs, the sub procedures, I recommend going and checking that out. Once you're done, feel free to come back here and we can do some functions. So functions are very similar to subs. The main difference is functions return a value, whereas subs do not. So let me just, they have the same principle of by ref, by val, you know, when you're passing in values, the way you pass in values is the same. The only difference is, so I'll use this add example and I'll create another one and I'll call it, so you need to use the keyword function and I'll call it add func and I'll just copy this just to save some time. I'll click enter and at the end we need to do as integer so this is going to be the return type and we are going to do dim uh, you know what I'll just copy this out put it here okay so with this method we actually printed out to the console the result you may not want that you may want to assign it to some index in an array you may want to pass it into another method you may want to display it on the screen. You may want to, you know, store it in a database. There's a like almost an endless, you know, very, you know, an endless variation of what you might do with the result of your function. I'll just call it add fun. Oh, I'll leave you at add fun. So to actually return the value, you just do the name of the function. So add fun. You assign it some value. So I'm going to say result. And now. If I was to, I'm just going to simply comment out these other lines. So if I was to just run that function, so if I do, it's called add fun, I need to pass in two values, so I'm gonna say five and six. So this should return a value of 11. I run it, nothing's printed out. Why isn't it printed out? That's because this returns it merely to this location if we were to you know wrap this in a console dot right line like so now it prints it out because this function gets called passes in the value five and six and this just adds the two numbers together and then return the result and that result gets returned here so it's the equivalent of literally writing 11 there and as your brain is already wondering, can you assign it to a variable? Yes, you can. So if I do dim, I'll just call it var1 equals uh, as integer. We could do var1 equals add fun. And let's just do six and seven this time. And if I do console.write line, and I just do var1 it prints out 13. Now oh, why that, uh, yeah, that, that red line's gone now, that squiggly, terrifying red line. So that's it for functions. They're almost the same as sub procedures. The main difference is they return a value, whereas subs do not. So if you need something to return a value, this can be any data type. It doesn't have to match the data type of anything that's passed in. You don't even have to pass anything in. As an extra task, feel free to you know experiment, have you know these functions calling other functions so this function could call this sub or this sub could call this function this function could call another, another function just go crazy thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video